Hello there, it's Dor here, and today I'm gonna make another tutorial on how to connect your controller into your PC. I've done one of these before, like 11 months or ago or so, I'm, so, I'm not sure. But uh, that was with, with Motion Joy. I don't use Motion Joy anymore because it sucks. Yes, it does. Uh, I use Better DS3, and I will show you how that is working. You don't need internet for this, you don't need anything, you can play this on laptop on your way to your school at the train, I don't know what, when you do, when you want to play. So, anywho, all you have to do is click the link in the description, you brought up this side on Mediafire, just download it, PS3, PS3 X64, it's for if you have a 64-bit computer, and uh, I will link, link one 32-bit as well. So just download that and just drag it out on your desktop to make it make it easier for you. And this will pop up. Uh, I think you need WinRAR for this. Everyone knows what WinRAR is. Just drag it out like usual, and we got them both. And what is this now? Just junk, as we see it. But the they work. Actually, I will show show you how. First of all. You're gonna head, head up, you plug in your controller out, shit like that. So I got my controller here. It's plugged in. With USB cable. You can use without, but you, you need a USB connector. I won't go on brag about that. So, first, just connect your controller to your PC. Plug it in. Then go to control panel. To, yeah, just click on the units and sound, I think. Not sure what it's called in English. I got in Swedish because I'm Swedish, of course. But just units and, uh, and printers, and here we got everything like you have on your computer. Everything that is connected. So I got my screens. I got my CD-ROM driver. I got my keyboard, 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 mouse, mouse, my webcam, my uh, where is that memory, and the controller over here. So what are we gonna do with the controller? Yeah, it's pretty simple. Oh, so another than your Steam. Nice. What are you gonna do is uh, click on it. You're gonna do go to um shim Yeah. There. And then do uh, change settings, I think. At least you need uh, admin administration and stuff like that. Then go to drivers and then you're gonna go to update driver and you're gonna uh, like not search automatic, you're gonna pick your own. And then you're gonna show, search for it, just, and you know you have it on the screenboard, <laughs> on the screen, <laughs> and you have it on the desktop. So just go admin desktop x64. That is not the right one, but just click. I'm not sure what that is in English just either. Search, yes, the right P3 x64, then 64 one more, so like that. That should pop up, pop up. And you got a if you got a 32-bit computer, it should stand 32 instead. Press next, and they are already installed for me because I've already done this. But they will install for you, and everything will wor will work out just fine. I'm not sure if it is only for one USB port, but you should maybe keep it to the same. And if it's not, just sh do it one more time. Uh, I'm not sure if it works with. Xbox controller, not sure. Maybe some different drivers. Check another one. Uh, but still, with the Birth DS3 2, uh, you're gonna have some weird settings, like nothing at all. So, all you're gonna do is just press new. I got one already, but if we just delete that one, this is how we're gonna pop up. Connect to the D3 controller. We got the selected profile. We don't have anyone. Control panel, nothing there. Disconnect. Don't don't press it. You can host through Bluetooth for that. Nah, not this tutorial. So just press new. X input with the Xbox icon. Profile name just PS3 control controller like that, and then just autofill. It will fill everything out just fine. You can you can change stuff if you want. I don't see why, but if you 
if you want. And then we're done, just say profile, nothing more. And then be, be sure that you pick it here, because when you start it up, sometimes, yeah, it's blank. So be sure to pick it and then press apply. You can make different, if you got like a brother, brother 12, and he wants his triangle to be the right back button. I don't know why, but yeah, you can change that if you want. And then if you have two controllers, you can change different profile. Just press apply, you see the battery state, nothing with it. And uh, keep the program open when you play. And then just start playing. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Uh, just remember, fix the drivers. These are the drivers. Don't just you don't have to care about this one. That don't doesn't do anything. Just this one, DLL and sys files. Just drag them in or pick them. And that's it actually. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.